hey y'all i'm back with my straight backs <laughs> but um and excuse my voice like i'm getting over a chest cold like i don't i don't know what's going on but um so somebody just hit me up in my dms right on instagram and you know they're trying to see what the vibe is you know they're trying to get to know me so you know we're having a brief little conversation like um you know um where are you from what is your zodiac sign um you know and then i'm like because he's like oh I'm, I'm grown he's like he's like oh i said all i'm asking for you at this time is to be honest because playing games will not get you far so he texts back he said um I don't play games I'm grown and I said hold on I hope y'all can hear me hold on y'all he said um you know I don't play games I'm grown and I said well everybody thinks they're grown until it's time to really do some grown shit and I'm not talking about having a baby or having a job or um what's the third thing i said or um hold on hold on Wait, let me see. damn what was the th okay so i said people think they grown until it's time to do grown shit and i'm not talking about having a job a baby or fucking anyone can do that lol so um So what I want to say about this, what I want to say about this entire little conversation, I'm sorry y'all, um, what I want to say about this entire little conversation that I just had is like, yeah, in this 3D world, yeah, of course, having a job and having a baby and you know, um, <laughs> damn, I forgot the shit again. <laughs> And, um, oh, and fucking, like, of course, of course, in this 3D world, you guys think that that's, that makes you grown. But I'm here to tell you that you're not grown until you have gone on a spiritual journey and you have begun to heal, right, from your childhood trauma and from anything that has broken your heart, past relationships, and how your mother and father let you down and abandoned you and neglected you, and how, you know, you grew up thinking you wasn't shit because that's the, those are the words that people were talking into your motherfucking brain, and, you know, you, you feeling defeated and you feeling worthless, you know, as a woman or a man because of what your life circumstances are currently displaying in front of your face, like, y'all are not really grown okay y'all are not you know now me i'm actually grown as fuck okay because i have gone through plenty of dark nights of the motherfucking soul i have done some deep spiritual healing i no longer allow the traumas of my past to dictate who the fuck i am i no longer let you know every heartbreak that I have gone through in my past, you know, fucking lustful and trauma bonding relationships that I was when I were, when I were younger, I don't let those have a hold on me anymore, you know? Now, am I perfect? Absolutely not. There's still some more shit that I need to dive deeper into, you know? But have I done an extensive amount of inner fucking healing absolutely and that's what makes me groan what makes me groan is every day getting into my Quran okay and getting on my fucking knees and praying to the Lord for forgiveness of my sins of yesterday to continue to guide me on my path for protection every day of my life to provide for me in all ways possible, in ways that I can only even dream of. To continue to love me unconditionally 
in spite of my insecurities, in spite of my flaws. That's what makes you fucking grown. What makes you grown is not only fucking laying down to make the baby, but to actually do every fucking thing in your power to raise that child up right. That's what makes you grown. Getting up every day, even though it's times you don't want to, whether you're sick, whether you're stressed, whether whatever the fuck you're going through, you still get up and you're, you're there for your children. That's what makes you grown. What makes you grown is setting boundaries in your motherfucking life with people that said that they loved you, but they didn't know how to treat you right. AKA family, lovers, so-called friends, even jobs, environments, okay? Like, to be honest with y'all, you know, I'm on this dating fucking journey and I haven't found the love of my life yet. And I know when I'll actually find him because he'll be a deep spiritual fucking per I'm getting emotional because I feel very strongly about this shit. I feel very fucking strongly about this. I know when I will need the love of my life because he will be a deep person. He will understand me on a core level. When he sees me, he won't just see me for my body. He won't just see me for my beauty. He won't just see, oh, she'll be a great mother. She'll be great in bed. You know, he'll actually see me as a real human being here, as a soul living a human experience. So plenty confirmation, so plenty people come my way. That is no secret. And that is no boast either. But I know the difference. You see? And this is just confirmation right here. Your body is something else. I'm not going to lie. Sir, stop fucking playing games with me. You're not trying. And this is, I'm about to text this to this fucking part. You're not trying to get to know me. You're trying to experience my body. That's what you're trying to do. And what I'm looking for is way past the idea of sex. Way past the idea of intimacy. Something that is unseen. A connection where we look at each other and we know what each other's thinking. A connection where most times I won't even have to say what I need, but you just know that I need it. A lot of y'all are lost. And I know this is very hard to hear because you think, because we're here on earth living in the 3D, the matrix, you think that you, you, got, it, you got it going on. <laughs> you think that you are the shit. You know, you got a job, you work for the city, you got a car, you, you know, you provide for your children if you have children, and you know, you can fuck anything you want to fuck. To me, that's not just living. To me, that is just existing. I crave a love so deep, and I know it's out there. You know, I know it's possible. I've never experienced it before. You know, the only love that I've ever experienced is the love of God and the love of being a mother. But other than that, I, I haven't ever had someone love me truly for who I am. And it hurts sometimes, you know? Yes, I have a great body. I'm beautiful. Okay, great. Yes, I'm very blessed. Thank you, Allah. But I'm more than that. And like I said, I know when I'll meet someone who is truly meant for me. Because that won't be the only thing that they're interested in. My body will not be the only thing that they see. 
so i'm praying for the rest of you all that are out here on a spiritual journey it's tough you know because a lot of people are in the 3d